Other news now, teachers in Gig Harbor, they have some new equipment that they hope they never have to use. Each teacher now has medical gear on hand in the event of a school shooting. King 5's Drew Mickelson shows us the kits and introduces us to the parents behind them. Every classroom in the Peninsula School District now has one of these emergency wound kits. Thanks to St. Anthony Hospital and a group of parents, including an Army surgeon. Okay, let's see it. Off-duty, Madigan Army Medical Center's Dr. Quentin Hatch. You've done this before. Strong. Shows civilians how to apply tourniquets. Every single soldier, Marine, Airman, Sailor who deploys carries this stuff and this know-how. Today he's teaching the longtime battlefield procedure that stops bleeding to employees at St. Anthony Hospital and not only its medical workers. If you're in a dangerous situation, you may not have any help until the police come secure the area. Hatch says it's equipment and knowledge that can save lives. There's blood and I can't breathe. After a training exercise headed up by Hatch for Peninsula School District nurses last summer, a group of parents pushed to have tourniquets, gloves, and gauze placed in every classroom for that worst case scenario. It's very unfortunate that we have to plan for events of this nature, but we also want to be prepared. St. Anthony Hospital assembled the backpack kits and just donated them to each of the district's 635 classrooms. I really appreciate everything you guys did to keep our kids safe. Hatch is not only a trauma surgeon, he's also a Peninsula parent who now feels his children are a little safer at school. Is it everything that we can do? No, but it's something and it's a start. Dr. Hatch has been teaching the course at Seattle schools recently as well. He says there will be a push in Olympia to get one of those stop the bleed backpacks in every classroom in the state. In Gig Harbor, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.